I see it. Okay, perfect. See it. Perfect. Right over it. Perfect. Yes! Oh! Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs>just had to show that epic only in battlefield moment there at the start a big gg to team mountain goat for that cool clip that was uh, some very well timed explosive power i do have to say it's cool to see clips like that happening again in the battlefield franchise at the start of battlefield 5 we didn't really have that but as soon as dice unlocked the ability to start launching vehicles again this kind of stuff is happening more often than you might think we're on the eve of a swathe of new content coming to Battlefield 5. We've got lots of new maps coming to the game, one almost every month between now and the end of 2019. We're getting a bunch of new weapons soon and vehicles, and of course, the Pacific Theater is only about three months away. We're basically standing on the starting line of the marathon of content that's about to start releasing, but... There's something that I really want to talk about today that I think has the potential to really affect how the core community is going to receive that new content when it comes to actual gameplay. The MMG bipod meta in Battlefield 5 right now is rife, and I think something needs to be done about it before we get too far into this content roadmap. I don't think the balancing approach to these weapons is in a good place at the moment, and I think DICE needs to make some changes now, sooner rather than later. Now this is going to be a heavily opinionated video today and not everyone is going to agree with what I'm saying and that's absolutely fine so if there was ever a time to use the comment section to combat my opinion or agree or give your own thoughts today would be that day. Use it, tell me what you think, give me your ideas and let's have a proper conversation about this. As a high level point to begin with, I believe there's too much emphasis being placed on the playstyles that include bipods as a strong assistance tool. And when I say a strong assistance tool, I'm talking about the fact that some guns in Battlefield 5 are next to useless without their bipod being deployed and become absolute monsters when they are deployed. This in general applies to the MMG category of weapons within the support class, although it's not exclusive to those weapons, and it creates a scenario where those kind of weapons are balanced to favour certain playstyles so strongly that players start to exploit them in a way. You get yourself in a corner somewhere, you prone down, deploy the bipod, and you wait for enemies to roll past. You're looking for cheap kills, basically. You get these big peaks of power where players fire the gun, it's deployed on their bipod, they've got minimal recoil affecting gun control, and it just makes the thing extremely easy to use. And when players realised that they could do this, they started doing it all the time in almost every game mode on almost every map in the game. Now, several months after launch, apart from the constant call to add more maps to the game, I'd say the conversation about MMG bipod campers is one of the biggest being discussed within the core community. In my own opinion, I think DICE needs to smooth out the power of the MMGs in the game, and instead of continuing to add more and more MMGs with almost identical use cases, they need to be rebalancing the entire weapon category to introduce new, effective and engaging ways to use the weapons. During some of the very first playtests that I took part in for Battlefield 5 back at the beginning of 2018, DICE communicated to me and the rest of the Game Changers at that event that MMGs in the game would be balanced as defensive weapons with narrow use cases. I think that original vision has almost carried over completely into the final game, but as time has gone on, that narrow use case is being exposed as the exact reason why the bipod pro meta has become so strong. The use case is extremely powerful and it's easy to take part in, thus creating a scenario where a player knows they can easily bag a few kills without really having to do very much. And to me, not only is that promoting playstyles without significant amounts of thought behind them, it's also a glaring point of missed opportunity within the weapon balancing of Battlefield 5. There's a lot more that can be done here with the MMGs to make them a lot more interesting. Now, the reason that I think DICE needs to make these changes to the MMG weapon balancing comes because of the content that they're about to start rolling out. Firstly, Marita, a heavily infantry-focused map. It's launching in July, a little over six weeks away. 
Lofoten Islands and Provence, two pure infantry maps focused on smaller game modes, launching in August, and Operation Underground, a pure infantry meat grinder inspired by Operation Metro from Battlefield 3, launching in October. All of these additions are going to be adding opportunities and scenarios for choke points, and that is prime hunting territory for the MMG Bipod Camper in Battlefield 5. There's a potential here for these new maps being added to the game to end up in the same boat as the current maps, where MMGs can have a hugely negative effect on gameplay and be one of the leading reasons why perhaps players won't enjoy that new content. But of course, sitting here saying that MMGs need to be rebalanced is really easy if you don't come up with any kind of solutions to how they could be rebalanced. Now, I'm not a gameplay designer at DICE, I don't tune weapons or anything like that, but I have had a think about it, of things that could be done to try and improve and change this experience within the game. And at a high level, I have a few points that I'd like to try and make to say, here's how I would change things. I'd want to remove the reliance on the bipod deployment of MMGs, I'd want to reduce the strength of MMGs when they're deployed on a bipod, and I want to introduce new ways to make those weapons effective and fun to use when they aren't bipodded. Now, I mentioned earlier that MMGs have these massive peaks in power when they're deployed on bipods, and they're next to useless when they aren't deployed on bipods. I think smoothing out that power across the two different states would be a good place to start, and therefore, to achieve that, I think you need to allow MMGs to ADS, aim down sights. Now right away, I already know that's posing an issue because of their extremely high damage per shot, and that's mainly influenced by their high rate of fire. So to combat the addition of being able to aim down sights, I think MMG weapon damage would have to be adjusted across the board. If you could suddenly aim down sights with your 1200 rounds per minute fully upgraded MG42, no player on the other end of that medium range gunfight would stand a chance. You'd be deleting players off the map and dumping them back in the spawn screen before they could even say the word overpowered. You'd have to do something to the weapon damage because of the rate of fire of these weapons being so extreme. Another way that you could try and get that power balance to be met might be to introduce a two-stage ADS function where the first time you hit the ADS button, your MMG sort of does that zoom-in animation as it does right now. It's not a full ADS, but it's a slight bit more focus of fire. And then if you held down the ADS button for maybe a second or so, full ADS would kick in and the weapon sights would be raised up to eye level, giving the player much greater control of the weapon. Now, this is an idea that I had the other day whilst I was thinking about making this video, and I wanted to put it into this video because I think it might offer some different gameplay opportunities, but I'm already aware that having this delayed ADS feature, that might end up just becoming more frustrating rather than it being an interesting addition. I wanted to put it in there to see how you guys might feel about that, but I can already see problems with that kind of design. And then there's also the Battlefield 1 option to reducing MMG power. You could start the weapons with extremely high recoil values whilst you're aiming down sights, and then decrease that after the first few bullets so things become easier to control over time. You're sort of rewarding prolonged shooting in that regard. This is a system that was employed in Battlefield 1, as I said, and Bad Company 2, I believe, as well, but... In Battlefield 1, at least, it wasn't a particularly well-liked implementation because it just sort of promoted holding down the fire button and not really requiring much further thought. It's a decent solution to the issue, but one of the very few areas where Battlefield 5 really delivers is the gunplay. It's a part of the game that I think a large proportion of the core community would say is in a really good position, and messing with that by implementing an MMG balance pass so that players simply had to hold down the fire button to mitigate recoil after a few bullets, that might not go down so well. And then one final thought that I had, this would help alleviate some of those scenarios where players just deploy their bipod and they start hunting for hit markers on players just way across the map, extreme long ranges where maybe you should be using a bolt action rifle, I thought of potentially implementing similar bullet drag to the bolt action rifles onto the MMGs. That might help reduce their effectiveness 
at long range. Now, bullet drag is the mechanic in Battlefield 5 that slows down the bullet over time as it flies through the air. That increases bullet drop as the bullet travels further from the barrel of the gun. On bolt action rifles, this effect is quite pronounced in Battlefield 5, so much so that if you really want to be effective with any of the rifles, then you need to be playing more aggressively, taking on players sort of inside the 100 meter range. So if you could apply that kind of bullet drag to the MMGs, you might start seeing people closing the gap and not using the bipods so much because they just become a much bigger target inside those combat ranges. These are just my solutions and ideas of what could potentially be done to get rid of this bipod prone meta in Battlefield 5. And as I said at the start of the video, this is not an issue exclusive to MMGs. They're not the only culprits here. Recently, the boys AT rifle given to the recon class is almost a prone only weapon. And really, if you want to be effective with it, you have to deploy the bipod. And soon we're getting the Panzer Buxer 39 as well, which is another anti-tank prone rifle. There's got to be more interesting ways to balance these weapons without defaulting to a narrow use case like proning or bipoding. And I'm worried that this continued focus on prone or bipod gameplay is going to have a harmful effect on the upcoming maps that DICE is planning to release for the game. And as I said at the start, I think they need to start working on this now and come up with a new balancing model before we get too deep into that new content and the same issues arise on these new maps that we've been dealing with for months on the current maps. You want people to remember your new content for the good reasons. The fact that Marita is really well designed and that Operation Underground is a really good reimagining of Operation Metro. You don't want that to be marred by the fact that these locations could be prime hunting grounds for MMG bipod campers. You just don't want that to infiltrate. Battlefield 5 has had enough bad press as it is, and it would be great if this new content that was coming out just wasn't affected by some of the bad decisions that have happened in the past for this game. However, that is all just my opinion, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as well. So leave your own thoughts and ideas down below in the comment section today, and maybe have a look at what other people are saying as well. We've all got our own points of view here, and I think it's really important that we consider as many different points of view as possible when we're forming our own opinions. But a big thank you for watching today. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you loved it and you want to see more Battlefield 5 videos in the future. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.